हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू जैकलेट एजुकेशनल चैनल सो दिस वीडियो इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी वेरी फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ट क्वेरीज फ्रॉम ऑल ऑफ यू दैट बिकॉज ऑफ योर अदर बैकग्राउंड दैट मीन्स योर मास्टर्स इज नॉट इन एनवायरमेंटल साइंस एंड वेदर यू कैन अपेयर इन द यू जी सी नेट एनवायरमेंटल साइंस पेपर और नॉट वेदर यू आर एलिजिबल और नॉट वट विल बी द प्रॉब्लम इन फ्यूचर इफ यू आर अपियरिंग एंड फॉर एनवायरमेंटल साइंस स्टूडेंट वट विल बी द कैरियर जॉब्स एंड अदर अपॉर्चुनिटीज आफ्टर दिस यू जी सी नेट एग्जामिनेशन so this video is going to be very very important as well as useful for your career so without wasting much time let's get started so first thing first doubt which i will be clearing is that if you are not in the masters of environmental science if you are from some other background such as for example chemistry biochemistry zoology botany etc so then if you are applying for ugc net environmental science whether you are eligible or not so the answer is yes yes you are eligible to appear for the ugc net environmental science subject but after qualifying the ugc net evs that is environmental science ls only that is lectureship only then you won't be having any future why because i will tell you if you are qualifying this examination that net ls that means you should be having the same subject in your masters to become the lecturer in the environmental science subject so already i am telling you that it is for those students who are not in the msc environmental science who are from some other background if you are only qualifying ls in the ugc net environmental science paper then no future at all you can neither apply in your own subject as lecturer nor in the environmental science subject because environmental science you are not having in the masters and ugc net you have qualified for the environmental science despite of having any of these subject in your masters you won't be considered while you are applying for the lectureship position so no future if you are only qualifying the lectureship that is net ls but if you are qualifying ugc net environmental science jrf and if you are from other background then there is a chance what is that chance let's move on to the next slide so this is about if you are from other background other than environmental science in masters but you are planning to go for the ugc net environmental science paper then if you are qualifying jrf only then only it will be helpful for you jrf junior research fellowship this is a fellowship which will be given by the ugc if you qualify the ugc net environmental science jrf cutoff so jrf cutoff is mid more than the ls cutoff so that is the criteria for the ugc net jrf and then you can do phd in either chemistry biochemistry whichever subject you are having or you can also do phd in environmental sciences so jrf you will be getting the fellowship only if you are joining as a phd student in either of your subject or environmental science subject if you are qualifying ugc net environmental science jrf i will tell you here that if you are joining in some other subject such as chemistry biochemistry zoology botany but you have qualified ugc net environmental science jrf then also you can get the fellowship no problem it will depend upon your university or institute and your guide if they don't have any problem you will be able to get the fellowship and continue your career in your respective field and usually i am telling that the institutes and universities they don't have any problem if you are having the jrf then you will be getting fellowship and you can continue your phd but the thing is now which i am going to tell you is that phd you have done you are getting the fellowship then phd in environmental science particularly i'll be telling because this channel deals with that only so after that what will be your career this is the very very important thing which you should know before going for phd what are the opportunities i will tell you in the next slide so let's move on so before the phd thing in environmental science this thing i will like to tell you that if you are masters in environmental science so you have completed your masters in environmental science i am not talking that whether you are having the ugc net or not so the thing is after that whether you are be able for jobs and career option yes 
you will be eligible for the jobs and career options many things will be there but most importantly this exclamation mark why i have given is that it will be for the temporary period yes now the competition is increasing day by day and phd students are in the line to get the jobs so they will be given more preference than the msc candidates so don't look for jobs after masters that is my personal suggestion because it will be for the short tenure and you won't be able to develop your career you cannot help yourself to reach higher position because already phd students the competition will be more and if you are completing phd then you will be having more power more focus on your career it will be a stable thing after msc in environmental science if you are going for jobs and career not that much you will not be able to help yourself to reach to higher position so if it is very very important for you to run your family and all you can go for jobs but it will be for the temporary period i am telling because competition is increasing so that is my personal choice it depends upon you now comes the next thing which i'll be talking this is the last thing but it is the most important thing that is after qualifying ugc net environmental science jrf junior research fellowship you will be getting you may be from any background you may be not from environmental science but if you are having jrf as i said you will be able to do phd in environmental science so phd in environmental science if you have completed then what are the opportunities so opportunities will be first thing is you will be eligible for the assistant professor and lecturer you can say that net ls is also eligible that candidate yes he or she is eligible but in the line there will be phd candidates also so they will be having more career marking than yours so they will be given the preference not you without the phd so first thing is you can be going for the assistant professor or lecturer jobs next is environmental scientist positions are out you can apply for that and in central pollution control board state pollution control board there also vacancies are out regularly and you can get into that jobs very very secure jobs next you can also go in the institutes such as wii fri and botanical survey of india ncbs etc so these are few which i have noted down here recruitment in these institutes are very very good for your career and you can be also recruited in the agriculture institutes and organizations if you are having the phd in environmental sciences you can also go a way ahead one more step after phd that is for the post doc i would suggest you you should go for the foreign post doc it will be also very very helpful for you financially also and career wise also because in post doc minimum 50 to 60000 you will be getting and if you are going abroad it will be around 1 lakhs also so these are some of the few things but these are the important career options after phd in environmental sciences so these things are important to know if you are in this field of environmental sciences yes maybe now the demand is less but the demand is growing and it will grow slowly slowly as the awareness is spreading from one place to another in future it will be very very demanding so don't lose hope keep your career in the focused path believe in yourself always work hard and yes believing in yourself will make your work more easier so don't forget to subscribe the channel guys if you like this video if you have got some important information from here and you can also join our telegram page for daily quizzes if you are preparing for the UGC net environmental science exam see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself